Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher Mardian from Newfoundland and today I have the privilege to interview Brad Minton from Detroit, Michigan. Hi Brad, how are you doing? Hi, it's so good to be with you today. Thank you for being here. So Brad is a certified career counselor, professional resume writer and the founder of the Mint to be Career. He's also the host of Your Career GPS podcast, which I highly recommend everyone to follow and listen. Brad specializes in helping the next generation of talent navigating their career journeys. He helps early career professionals discover their authentic self and create a career aligned to their unique potential. In addition to working with his clients through his business, he serves as a success coach for high school graduates through an educational service agency in the metro Detroit area where he resides with his wife and three children. So, Brett, let's start with your alignment history. So why, first of all, why it's important for job seeker or graduates or new immigrants to identify their value and is the value alignment with the jobs they're applying should be 100%, 80%, it all, or it all depends? Mm, yeah, that's a great question. Um, I'm a big, big believer in anchoring into values. And I think it's it's really, really important mm -hmm. that individuals, and, and I speak a lot to the, the clientele that I work with, which mm -hmm. is uh, those, um, those young adults, you know, 18 to 30 year old demographic, um, who are really just venturing into the world of work and trying to find their place. And so for, for those individuals, especially, uh, it is very, very easy to get enticed into, you know, things that are external to them, things mm -hmm. that are really enticing, you know, a, a great salary, uh, opportunities for for hybrid or flexible work environments yes. and a lot of those things that are that are outside of themselves and then they don't take enough of an inventory of the things internally that um, really do matter you know mm -hmm. am I going to have ample opportunity to to work independently um, because maybe that's mm -hmm. how that's what's important to me am I going to be able to express myself creatively yeah. in my job and um, there's and the list goes on and on of all of these different um, different values that um, you know we can attribute to the workplace and so so I'm a a huge huge proponent of that I and so the question about percentage is is it kind of a unique one because it kind of depends on the individual I don't think necessarily that an individual has to say, okay, every checkbox is is covered and it needs to be 100%. I think there will be a certain degree of sacrifice that everyone has to make because you know, we can't anticipate that uh, any work environment is going to be ideal and we're going to yeah. be able to have all of our needs met. Um, but I do think that having the clarity of knowing what it is that that energizes you, what, what matters to you the most, what is truly important... Mm -hmm helps provide that compass for you of knowing what to look for and being able to eliminate the ones that aren't going to be in your best interest. And is there any exercise or any practices you use with your clients in order to identify those values? Oh, yeah, that's a such a great question. Um, there's a couple of different things that I think are, are really, really helpful. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that I love doing uh, in the I usually uh, do this in in the very first session or maybe the second uh, of where I'm working with someone on on career clarity is I like to to actually go back into their history. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm very future focused. I'm always thinking about what's next, but I think it's so good to take an inventory of what's already happened. And so uh, one of the exercises that I do with clients a lot is is we look for evidence of where values have shown up in, in mm -hmm. the course of their life. Yeah. And so, you know, I look at things in terms of their childhood, in terms of, you know, their academic or their school career, and also in their work experience as well. And, yeah. and, you know, and I'm looking for examples of, you know, times where, you know, they felt powerful, times where they felt extremely proud, yeah. times where they felt like, um, you know, extreme joy and, and feeling uh, euphoria yeah. or times where they were 
on the op opposite uh, end of the spectrum, the times where they were defeated, the times where they mm -hmm. felt that nothing was working right, because that's obviously a there is a misalignment that's happening there, mm -hmm. too. And so all of those things can be super, super um, helpful to to try to take an inventory of those things. Another that is is super helpful as well uh, that um, I have is um, a values card sort activity mm -hmm. that I often do. So I will take um, a client and, and um, actually kind of dive deep into, um, you know, uh, uh, it's called the Nodell um, uh, career values. And we'll actually take a look at the uh, 50 plus career work values Mm -hmm. um, and and kind of judge them individually in terms of the level of importance for a particular person. So that could be extremely uh, thought provoking as well, because so many of them we just neglect. We don't yeah. often think about like humor, for example. I mean, uh, you know, humor is is so important. I like I I don't I try not to take life too seriously. Yeah. And I think a lot of other people, you know, really appreciate that. And a lot of times we don't think about Am I going to have an environment where other people appreciate that? <laughs> you know, those are great tips, Brad. Thank you very much. Again, for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Brad a couple of questions, and I'm going to post it on a daily basis, kind of a journey with us for the whole week. You can like, comment, and share. So tune in next time for another great question with Brad. Mm -hmm.